Hey everyone, I am back with another unboxing video. I'm gonna try to do some more of these just to kind of see how they go. I had fun doing the last one, even though it was shot in a hotel badly on my cell phone. But figured I'm home, I can actually shoot maybe a halfway decent one, talk about some random stuff that I wouldn't do in my videos. Maybe try to get that part of my videos at the end where I ramble on about stuff coming up a little shorter by doing it in other more miscellaneous videos. Because I know not everybody's on the Facebook page, so maybe I could just do it this way. Who knows? Try it out, see how it works. Let me know if you're just sick and tired of hearing me talk about crap. But this is actually box number two of the day. I opened the first one before I really thought of doing any videos. But the first one is this guy right over here. The SH Monster Arts Mogura. Pretty cool. He comes with a lot of stuff. I can't wait to review him, and uh, we'll go into further detail on him, but... Pretty cool. I picked up quite a few monster arts lately. I'm kind of trying to beef up that section of my collection. I've been on a big Godzilla kick with the new movie coming out later this year. And it's actually led me to... Well, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Let's get this box open. Let's get box number two of today open. I probably have another one in the next couple days. Hopefully tomorrow. But I might not do an unboxing video for that one. Get this thing opened up. Now this is a little kind of interesting, well, maybe not interesting, but uh, the story to it, I guess, is that uh, this is a company that I have looked at online for quite a while. I guess it's not really a company. It's uh, like a husband and wife um, who sell a lot of Japanese figures and stuff, and I would never ordered from them, but I've known about them for quite a while, and this is my first purchase on them shipped pretty quickly so it's also plus all right and we've got packaged up tissue paper or butcher paper number one and moth are chirping on my phone as my girlfriend texts me I'll deal with that in a little bit and crumpled up butcher paper number two now i'm not actually sure if there's anything in this one this feels like it might be empty so let's uh, let's try this one first I think it's actually nothing. Uh, I think it's just paper. And, yep, just paper on that. It was just extra packaging. All right, so here's. They better be the real items in this, or else I don't know where they are. Oh, yep. Oh, <laughs> dropped it. All right, which one to show off first? Um, this one's probably. Well, actually, they're both pretty obscure. Uh, first up here is Gamera from it's from the 90s movies uh, the Bandai 6 inch vinyl figure oh, I forget which one this is from I forget if this is from 2 or 3 Gamera 3 Gamera 3 the, uh, the Iris I forget the attack of Iris or binge of Iris whatever it is uh, very very cool it's been years years and years since I've gotten a Bandai Japan figure that wasn't one of the Monster Arts figures. Uh, Bandai Japan, the stuff you see in Toys R Us is Bandai Creations. It's an American redo of some of the old Japanese molds. These, well, for Godzilla, they don't do Gamera. But uh, these are a little different, a little better done. Uh, they come with a tag instead of actually having a box. It's a little interesting. But basically yeah they're a little higher detail the only other one i have is a king caesar i bought i was probably a freshman in high school so i was like 13 14 and i'm 27 now so it's been a long time since i've gotten a japanese uh, vinyl figure from bandai like this so very happy gamera looks awesome like i'm trying to do the camera but i love the look of the 90s gamera very cool all right Stop rambling on with that. Put him down somewhere safe and get my next figure out. <laughs> Jet Jaguar from Godzilla vs. Megalon. Like the cheesiest of the cheesy Godzilla movies, but I love him. I love his stupid little theme song. 
It's actually funny. I've had his theme song stuck in my head for days now. Probably because I ordered him. But I was singing it the other night, and my girlfriend was asking me, it's like, do you have a Jet Jaguar figure? Or if you don't, you need one. I'm like, well, fortunately, it's going to be here tomorrow. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, Jet Jaguar from Bandai. Uh, this one's a little tinier. Obviously, it's supposed to be to scale, I guess, with the other ones. Uh, I don't have a Godzilla handy to kind of compare them to. I guess I could compare them to Gamera. Gamera stands a little shorter, but Gamera's hunched over. So I guess this is to scale. He just being humanoid, he's a little less chunky <laughs> than the rest of the kaiju. But pretty psyched to have Jet Jaguar. Pretty happy about this. Uh, so I got this. I've got a set of Mogura, uh, Godzilla 2000. I'm going to review him soon when he comes in. He should be here in the next few days. But that's basically what my new announcement is, is I'm moving and doing basically a segment once a week. I'm going to try, hopefully it all works out, of Giant Monster Mondays, or Giant Monsters Monday, or whatever I wanted to call it. The plural's on something in that name. I forget which one I put it on. But anyway, it's basically I'm going to take one day a week and dedicate it to probably mostly Godzilla, but New Pacific Rim stuff's coming out. I have a big King Kong figure. I just kind of touch on those kind of things. The idea is I'm super hyped up for Godzilla right now. I don't think it's going to go away until after the movie's out in May. Whether that movie's good or bad, we'll see. But there's going to be new products coming out both for classic movies and the new movie. So I thought, why not just do a weekly segment dedicated to those kind of things I could get my fandom out there, go crazy with it. But I'm not doing like what I did with Avengers, where I just dumped like three or four months of nothing but Avengers figure reviews on you guys and did almost nothing else through that entire time. I don't want to do that. I want to review new Predators, hopefully, when if they're coming out in the time span. I don't even know. We're going to know with Toy Fair a lot more. I'm kind of just waiting on that right now. But obviously, the new Aliens are coming out soon. I already promised those. Got Ed 2 and 9. He needs to get reviewed got a lot of stuff to review so definitely not going to go all giant monsters but mondays are going to be the giant monster day today is going to be my first one but it's taken me a little longer than i thought to put together the intro video i wanted to do a new you know separate intro for it just like i did avengers i had a good idea it's just taking a little long to implement so it may be a very late monday i might cheat and go off of oh it's still monday on the west coast still monday in hawaii uh yeah it might get pushed a little stretched a little but once i have that introduction shot and done it'll all be good and subsequent issues of it will just kind of be able to flow out there and not be as big of a deal so <laughs> just got to get through this first one and everything will be all set so thank you guys for staying tuned like i always say plenty more reviews to come i think i got some good stuff for you so stay tuned